It is currently 15 degrees in Auckland, New Zealand, and in my room at the moment, it is currently just about 22 degrees exactly. So it's I'm cooling it down at the moment. And as you saw in the title, can my PC heat up my room? Or can it actually be an actual heater? Oh my god. So we have a, an aircon here, luckily, air conditioning, and we're gonna be using this to cool my room down. Um, so we're gonna bring it right down to probably around 19.5 degrees, or like around about there. And we're gonna give it about 30 minutes to an hour to try and heat up my room. My PC specs are pretty simple. So I have the Ryzen 5 5600 and it's not overclocked. I have an AIO over that. So I have the Arctic Freezer Liquid 3 360 mil rad. I have the RTX 3070. It's the light hash rate version from Zotac, eight gigabytes of VRAM. And I have 32 gigabytes of Patriot Viper RAM. As far as I know, it's operating at DDR4 4000. The RAM cooler that's on top of the RAM is from Johnsbo and we have probably around about 14 fans including that RAM cooler in the PC so plenty of cooling to go around and we're gonna keep the case panel off and well it could make sense to have the case panel on to make the PC actually warmer I'm gonna keep it off in this instance so we need to do a couple of tests here the first one I'm thinking is a synthetic benchmark to get the PC nice and toasty. Um, the next one I'm thinking is a game, so something like Warframe should be pretty good. And after that, I need to figure out how hot I actually make the room, so I don't know that. So I'm just gonna sit in the room and I'm gonna see what it's like after like 30 minutes to an hour or so. And the last one, I need to figure out how hot my actual heater makes the room. So I don't know that either. Let's head over to the benchmarks and find out how this actually plays out. First up, we have Warframe. Okay, so it's 19.4 degrees in my room at the moment, so it's quite cold. And I'm gonna be streaming this one on Twitch uh, to see how warm my room can get in 30 minutes. Oh, an hour actually, so we're okay, gonna figure so that out. so we're just over an hour into the stream as well. I just pause Warframe and went solo. So it reached around about 23 degrees, I could say just over an hour. I did have to swap missions twice. The first time it was just a bit boring because there wasn't that many enemies. And the second time was because I died. Um, uh, it did warm up a bit in here. I thought Warframe would do a little bit more with the wattage. You can probably see that there. On the pause screen, we have more wattage than we would have usually, which is a little bit funny, um, but yeah. Uh, we got up to uh, 150 or so on the graphics card, so not bad. I'll go ahead and maybe just finish this off a little bit, probably to the 25 minute mark, and then we'll call it a day. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the final outcome is. Next up, we have League of Legends. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get the results for me just sitting in the room and trying to see how much I actually heat up the room. And now this was all filmed almost about a month ago, so I can't really go back to those temperatures back then because it's pretty much summer now, especially at nighttime. And all of the days I filmed, it was pretty much 15 degrees outside. But what we can do is I have this League of Legends example where I played League of Legends in the room and the PC was on pretty low wattage because it's a low power consumption game. So we can see how that goes and I'll show you the data right now. For League of Legends, we started at 20.1 degrees Celsius and we ended up at 21.8 degrees Celsius. So not too much of an increase there. And overall, what we saw was a little bit low. So it's okay. I guess we can take that as the low wattage consumption game and me being in the room. Um, so overall, not a bad result for that one. Let's head on to the heater test. Okay, so we managed to get it down to 20.9 degrees Celsius. So I think I'm gonna leave it there just because I will otherwise run out of time. It is literally like 4 a.m. So I um, need to do this right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and check off the aircon. We're gonna leave it on idle. The only thing I am doing is I am watching a movie. Sorry, I shouldn't show that. Um, I'm watching a movie. I'm not doing anything else. 
um, is we're going to turn on the heater um, and we're going to see how warm it gets in here. So we're just going to chuck it on, put it on max. Um, I'm going to put it on the one setting just because um, I don't uh, actually, I don't actually use the second one because it gets too hot otherwise. So we're going to chuck it on one setting right there. We have the heater on now. We're going to attempt to see what this is going to do. Hopefully it should be right. And... So it's nearly been 30 minutes now. Uh, right there, about 4 seconds ago, and we ended up on 23.5 degrees Celsius. Um, at around about 30 minutes. So I started at 31, so there's that. I'll give it another 30 minutes as well, uh, just to see what it gets up, what it gets up to. Um, but yeah, not too bad at all. And you guys can probably see it here. Let's take it away. It's 23.5, so not too bad at all. And we're going to give it another 30 minutes because I'm watching a movie. Not really doing much, so we're chilling and. I think from memory the PC heated up even quicker so um, on full low that is though the, the whole time so that's a lot of wattage um, so as we can see here 23.5 is all we're at 30 minutes I'll give it another 30 minutes and I'll see you guys then Okay, so we're pretty much sitting here almost about an hour, probably uh, almost there. So we're at 25.1 degrees Celsius. So it's not bad at all. We got to 25.2 degrees now. So pretty warm in here now. It's pretty toasty. So pretty happy with that overall. Not a bad result for having the heater on. Now we have Ida 64. Okay, so we're going to be doing a synthetic benchmark. It's Ida64 and I'm going to run it for 30 minutes. Now I have a little bit of a unconventional setup going here. So we'll have all of the information on the screen. So we'll have the CPU, GPU, fan, and then we'll have Ida64 sitting here as well as the temperature uh, as you guys can see down here. So you guys can see it. So just take it away. It's 19.5. So we'll stop that in a second and we'll get a timer running um, on the screen oh i guess ida 64 will have it in any case so i don't have to do it but it's going to be a little bit difficult because i'm going to be stressing the gpu because i needed to get it as warm as possible um, and we want to raise the temperature in 30 minutes we'll see how much we can get um, on this pc over here so this is the pc uh, as you guys saw before we're also going to be leaving the case panel off, um, try and maximize heat dissipation. I know you probably, probably would make more sense to put the panel back on, but I'm going to leave it off. So we're just going to turn off the air conditioning now. That's quite cool in here. Oops, my camera has fallen over. Okay, so we're going to turn off the air conditioning now. So it's, turn, so it's off. Let's start the OBS recording. Alright, so we're looking pretty good. We're sitting here around about 28 minutes now exactly and we're sitting at 22 degrees in the room i can definitely say it is marginally warmer in here from what i can feel um, and the pc is working pretty nice and hard so uh, definitely pretty good i think i'm gonna let it go on for another maybe 20 minutes or so 10 20 minutes so uh we'll show you guys what it is at 30 minutes that's in a minute and one half so we'll see what is comes up to it's probably gonna sit at about 22 still because it takes a few seconds 
for this whole room to heat up it's you know it's not just this is also all of that over there and yeah so it's not a small room but yeah it's yeah a good good size All right, we're sitting at around about 23.4 degrees and we're at 59 minutes now, so almost an hour. And uh, yeah, not bad at all. It definitely feels much uh, more toasty in here and uh, it's quite nice. So I don't really have too much to say, but I can say that from this benchmark, did it act like a heater? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, I just want to emphasize this is a non-objective test, so take this graph with a little bit of a grain of salt. Starting off, we have the actual heater, and it started at 20.8 degrees Celsius and ended up at 25.2 degrees. This was a temperature increase per minute of 0.0733, so not bad at all. And of course it's the best, it literally is a heater, it's designed to do that. Next up, we have Warframe. So Warframe started off at 19.4 degrees and ended up at 23 degrees. So that's an increase of 3.6 degrees Celsius and that's a rate of 0.06 Celsius per minute. Not too bad considering that Warframe is not a stress test and is an actual game. So League of Legends was our low wattage test or the equivalent to it and we can't exactly compare it because it was only a 17 minute game compared to the 60 minutes on the other games and it started out at 20.1 degrees Celsius and ended up at 21.8 degrees Celsius. So this was an increase of only 1.7 degrees Celsius. However, its actual increase per minute was technically the highest, or was the highest, at 0.1 degrees Celsius per minute. But do keep in mind, this is under such a short time frame, I'm not sure if this would have actually held up over the 60 minutes. Lastly is Ida64, and we got a good temperature rise going from 19.5 degrees to 23.4 degrees in 60 minutes. This was an increase of 0.065 degrees celsius per minute so not a bad result for ida 64 and overall i'm pretty pleased with the results that we got and it's good to see that warframe is actually taking advantage of all the pc's resources which is why we saw such a decent increase in temperature in the room whilst not as effective as the heater i can definitely say that this pc did heat up my room to a certain extent although not as effective as a heater I'd say it was a good compromise between the two. Only if I was playing games like Warframe that are actually higher wattage and not like League of Legends eSport titles that don't really use too much resources. It goes to show as well how much heat can actually be generated from a PC when it's being used at full load. Now, these were extreme scenarios such as Ida64 that's not normal and even in Warframe as well. I'm pretty sure I said in the video that this isn't normal. Usually you wouldn't be sitting in a survival for an hour or so, and I didn't. I was in like three of them, so 20 minutes at a time almost. And what we can tell is that these games do use a lot of wattage and generate quite a bit of heat. So that's what happens with these PCs. And honestly, it's pretty interesting to see how the room heats up over time and I guess one flaw I have to know is the actual thermometer that I'm using the one uh, over here this one here is not entirely accurate so right now it says 22.3 degrees um, right there but is it actually 22.3 degrees in my room I don't exactly know but we were using this as the unit of measurement the whole time we weren't switching it around so according to this it was correct mind you the biggest flaw i could see is that it was sitting on my desk um, right there so it's recording the temperature on my desk in front of me where my mouse was so you know if i place it in a different part of the room it could actually be a different temperature for a little while once it actually um, i don't know the actual word for it but climatizes to the uh, place 
So yeah, that's a major flaw that we have here. Um, so this is a non-objective test. I just did it for fun. It does show when we're using the maximum amount of resources on our PC that we can get the room to actually heat up. So you can imagine if you have multiple of these PCs in your room, how warm it could get. Or even something like a data center, you now can like kind of understand why they need so much cooling in there and why it's important. Ambient temperatures can rise over time, so it's important to acknowledge that, especially if you have a warmer environment that you're in. I mean, in New Zealand at that time that I was filming, it was 15 degrees the nights that I was doing it. So it wasn't that warm and it was quite cool. So he was leaving the room quite quickly. But I can imagine if you're in a really hot place, I don't know, something like in Australia, over the ditch, um, something like this could actually affect you. Uh, if it's getting too hot, your PC might not like it as much. It'll, you know, the room will get warm, you won't be happy. So yeah, I think it's interesting observations that we found. Now this is a non-objective test, um, as I said before, and I'm not sure on the style of video that I'm gonna go for, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit impromptu, you can probably tell. I'm speaking just off, off the bat, I don't have a script or anything. Hopefully it feels a little bit more natural for you guys, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out wisetech.org for some more awesome content. But other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.